Hey, how's it going? We got some deer stuff to do, but we're gonna try and kill some squirrels in the process. Jesse is actually already back there. Got one tree to try and find. If you wanna see a bunch of squirrels die, I think you need to stick around. Did you get them? <laughs> right here, Jess. Get him. He's right above me. I can see his tail. He's in the branch right above me here. You see how there's a little bit of daylight coming through those branches? See that fluff fuzziness? Just put your scope up there and there's the daylight right in the middle. I don't know I don't know if Jesse was recording, but one squirrel's down. Right through the heart, buddy. Right through the spine. Oh yeah. Right by the car too. Nine more to go. All right, Jesse doesn't have orange, so what we're doing is running with one gun, and then we're just trading back and forth. So he'll film the next one, I'll film this one, back and forth. Our approach to squirrel hunting is, there's no approach. We just we just walk around and uh, see if we see something scurry away, and then if we get bored, then we'll sit down for a little while. But there's a trail camera down here that I've had for deer, and 90% of my photos have been squirrels, so I want to go down here and thin some of these squirrels out. We've elected. We got one squirrel. Jesse's got my hat on right now, but we're going to go get some more orange. I forgot to tell him to get orange. <laughs> Plus, I got to shed a layer, so we're going to go to the store real quick and grab some orange, and then we'll come back out. Okay, we're back. Jesse's Jesse's got a lucky hat on. Oh, it's it's reversed. <laughs> okay. He just he moved around to the other side. He's missing eyes there. He's there. See him? His whole body's right there. Right in the crotch of that tree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's a goner. He's a goner. That's two. That's two and the battery's about to die. Lucky hat paid off. Got one each I'm not gonna lie, one. I forgot to bring a battery. <laughs> What'd you get in that time? Oh, that time. Boy, I made him jump up the money. I never, I got one shot, dude. You went by on that big tree, didn't you? Yep. Number two. Number three. Or three. Two for you. Second fox. Second fox. Go to the variety pack. <laughs> need the variety pack. Need a gray squirrel now. Two hours later. You see him? He's still on the tree. He's still in line with the limb coming off the tree. I think you got him. You definitely hit the tree limb behind him. Oh, yeah. Yep, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> There was another one right next to him. Guys, the gray one, dude. We just got a squirrel. What? We just got a squirrel. Yes. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go. You gonna hold him? Nice job. You guys, this first squirrel. Just hold his tail, Ellie. He's got a fuzzy tail. So we, our battery died while we were out hunting first thing this morning. We decided we'll head back to the house. We got the kids. We're able to get one more squirrel. We got a little gray squirrel. We've got the variety pack. <laughs> and now we're going to clean them. The loins on this one. The loins. And um, we're going to try and come up with a quick recipe for them. Hello. In the next, Hello. <laughs> in the next day or two. In the next day or two. So stick around for the recipe. We're going to sell you. I am so angry right now. I'm so angry and it's not your guys' fault. It's not at all. I made this video. This is the second time I made this video and I had a whole bunch of footage of making the chili and cooking the chili and all I had left after making the video. Anyways, file got corrupted, stuff got lost, had to remake the video and now we're back here. So I had full intentions of making squirrel taco. With the, I got this recipe which is below. Um, and it was all talking about squirrel tacos. Started cooking it, started making it, and I'm like, I'm gonna turn this into a chili because it's cold out, 
weather's getting great, nice fall weather, freaking fantastic chili. Basically, the only thing I added to this recipe was a little bit extra tomato and some corn. Could also throw in probably some extra beans, but it worked out really good the way it was. It turned out to like a Southwest chili, and it was absolutely delicious. A little bit spicy, freaking perfect. We got onions in it, we got garlic in it, we got chili powder in it, we got... Um, fresh cayenne peppers out of the garden in it, all the good stuff, plus all the squirrel. All five squirrel, shoulders, and the back legs thrown in there, cooked for a few hours on low, or maybe it was high, pulled it out, peeled all the meat off of the bone, put it back in, and let it cook for a total of 14 hours in the slow cooker. Basically turned out to be the most flavorful thing I've had in quite a good time. So if you want to try it, and convert the recipe to a chili below. Uh, the link is down there and have fun with it. It's, it's good. But for now, I'm gonna sit here and eat my wrap because I ate all the chili already. And deer season starts tomorrow. Got some other cool stuff coming up pretty soon, hopefully, if I can get it all finished up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for sticking around with me. I appreciate y'all.